Today I'd like to show you Gemini 3, our most powerful model yet for web development, vibe coding, and agentic tasks. It can build beautiful aesthetic designs instantly. And I'd like to show you some real examples that I've been playing with, such as these awesome voxel trees that you see right here. Check out the lighting and the detail. We've got a 3D photography site with that awesome header and then these interactive details as you scroll through. We've also got a beautiful typography site that has all these animations that pop up as you scroll through the experience. It's got these interactive widgets for playing around with weight and spacing that make it even more awesome. We have a digital renaissance site that includes some additional details here like shadows that are beautiful. We've got a DNA sequence that you can use Gemini to analyze. It's also 3D. Here we've got an ice cream site that has pure protein. Check out these nice colors, those animated cards that popped in, the additional details that animated. This feels very nice. We've got a fragrance website where we have this nice effect at the bottom as you scroll through where these black cards show up. Makes it feel a little bit more unique and differentiated. Here, I've taken one of my sites and I've put it through Gemini 3.0 and it's completely re-envisioned it using all of the content with a completely fresh new layout. You can also use it for things like digital couture sites. You can use it for replicating layouts of existing sites. So here's YouTube, for example. I've enjoyed looking at some of the things the community have been doing, such as this awesome brutalist layout. This is the kind of design that has flavor, that has taste, that you typically wouldn't have seen with LLMs before. You can also use Gemini 3.0 to envision, uh, you know, paper uh, as a learning medium. So you can take something like one of Leonardo da Vinci's flying machine diagrams and turn it into an interactive game. So here we've got a main crank allowing us to make that thing fly. And of course, we have this music visualizer that's been playing in the background this whole time. It's beautiful, it's working off of an audio file, and it just goes to show you how much uh, we've been able to evolve the model and evolve how far we can take some of these creative ideas. So with the launch of Gemini 3.0, we have a model that finally bridges the gap between complex reasoning and creative execution, allowing you to generate rich, interactive sites and visualizations from a single prompt.